A blue signal security truck circles the Whitehaven Plaza shopping center Wednesday after the fourth time thieves tried to break into a Memphis City Gear store in a week. The last three smash and grabs were at the South Memphis store. Monday afternoon in broad daylight, WREG obtained this video showing the group running in and out with $50,000 in stolen merchandise, jumping into multiple parked cars. Here you can see two of them stuffing their trunks, this man not even wearing a mask. Here you can see a person in a black hoodie getting away with stacks of shoe boxes. To better paint the picture, we'll start with last Thursday when thieves got away with $10,000 in merchandise. Then fast forward to Monday around 4 a.m., four cars plow into the building, destroy this wall, and get away with merchandise. A few hours later, as the crew works to fix the massive hole, this group is caught on camera. The surge of brazen and ruthless burglaries is not new to Memphis police. The operation involved the use of sledgehammers and stolen vehicles, which were forcefully driven through storefronts, causing significant damage to the establishments. The individuals listed in this indictment are responsible for more than $250,000 in property stolen and several hundreds of thousands of dollars in property damage. In June, Chief Davis announced 15 people were indicted in Operation Broken Bottles and warned more arrests are to come. In Whitehaven, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel 3. And City Gear is now the latest in more than 2,000 smash and grabs around the city so far this year. A statement from Hibbit, which owns City Gear, said in part, quote, we will continue to fortify our stores to further deter these brazen perpetrators. However, swift action needs to be taken to thwart these thieves and hold them accountable. And also, they also said they have reached out to the DA's office but had not heard back. News Channel 3 has also tried to get answers from the district attorney's office office.